Hello everybody, so today is going to be my first video on how to make a Discord bot in TypeScript and errors. So TypeScript is another language similar to JavaScript, which basically includes types. I'll be going into details and it also includes other things, but we're going to be touching the surface of the language today and I'll link some documentation down below if you guys want to check it out yourself. And I'll also link errors documentation down below if you guys also want to check that out. So this could be a uh, part one of many videos coming soon. And yeah, too, I just want to show you guys the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript, how to download TypeScript and how to use it yourself and all the other things that you're going to need. So first you're going to, uh, first let's compare JavaScript and TypeScript. So in JavaScript, we usually define a variable called, let's say let random equals let's say random num equals one that's uh that if you hover over it it gives you the number typing but if it if it turns into string it gives us the string typing so for example you have a function that outputs a number but uh, that outputs a string but you want a number then typescript will scream at you it will basically be like okay well this is gonna output a string are you sure you need that, but you try and get a number? And then you can correct that before you execute your code. TypeScript actually compiles down to JavaScript, so it's basically a developer tool for developers to help develop easily. Let me show you an example. So if you do let random num equals two, let random num two equals three. Every console.log it, console.log random num plus random num two, it will give us 23 because it would just do it right there 23 but if we do the same with typescript if you go here and do this and then we do number if you get the typing number and our function outputs a string then it will give us an error that first that you cannot give a string typing to a number it will throw us an error and then we can solve it beforehand before actually executing a code so that's it. one advantage of TypeScript of many advantages. So TypeScript also, just to go over a few, it also gives you better error catching. So if you're coding and some errors JavaScript won't catch, only like the obvious ones, TypeScript will be like, okay, well, this is not right. You should fix this. Otherwise, when you execute your code, it will just go bad when you're executing your code and that's really annoying and you have to start up a debugging session. But, but you can just do that in TypeScript while coding. So yeah, that's the advantage of TypeScript. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually set up TypeScript, how to make the project in TypeScript so you can get started. So let's just move our index.js file because we don't need that. So first we're going to be making sure that we have node installed. Um, I have node version 14.16.1, but you guys can have a like node 16 point something. It, you can have the latest version, it doesn't matter. I just have that personally. And I'll also link the how to download node for basically the node documentation, how to download, um, how to, yeah, basically there's going to be whatever I need in this video is going to be linked down in the description below. And yeah, so first we're going to be downloading npm, uh, so download it globally. If you're, this is for Windows user, I'm just going to be going for Windows users real quick. I'm born personally on a Mac. So if, I, if you're on Windows, you have, you're going to have to do this. And then if you're on a Mac, you do sudo because that's just how our OS is. So, um, let's hope I don't forget my pass. And then it's going to download TypeScript. So our TypeScript is downloaded and it shows us where it is. So yeah, so our TypeScript is downloaded. And now, um, if for some Windows, for some reason, Windows uh, gives an error when you download global packages, if you haven't done that before. So I'll link on how to fix that in the description below too. So I'm just gonna be linking everything you're gonna need, like basically from start to finish. So I'll make the process easiest for you that it can be. And you have to do sudo mpmi global ts node, but you don't have to include the sudo if you're a Windows user, that's just cause I'm a Mac user. So it will download the package. Now our both packages are installed. Now we just do npm in it. So now you can just do this and then yes. And then this is a package JSON. And now you're gonna have to install a thing called types node. So it basically gives you the nodes type 
and because just in case we need them while we're working on a project so you're going to also have to install that it will create two files so this is what you should have so far index.typescript package lock json package.json and load modules for package.json you can make a new script called i don't know anything like dev and then you can just do ts node index.ts that will execute a file with ts node so basically ts node compiles our typescript code into javascript because like i said typescript code goes after javascript typescript is just a developer tool and how to use it so now that it's ready we can do stuff like we can just do stuff like console.log test and now we do npm run dev and then it will console.log test exactly and then that's that's just how to get started in the next video i'm going to be showing you guys how to start off with a discord bot in Ares. so we're going to be using typescript and Ares together and then i'll just be showing you guys how to do all of that and then this is just going to be a super easy simple tutorial and hopefully you guys are gonna have fun make your own discord bots and yeah that's just the goal here I'm basically going to link, if you guys run into any errors, I'm going to link my support server in the description below. If you guys just want to hang out and say hi, or you guys have a question, you can ask me personally, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Otherwise, that's going to be all for this video, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.